The next thing I want to do is cover the plugin that we should be using for the slideshow. Genesis recommends that we use WP Cycle, but I actually prefer to use the Dynamic Content Gallery plugin, so I just want to show you how to set that up. Go to Plugins and upload and install the Dynamic Content Gallery plugin. Once it's installed, go to the Settings page and you'll see it down here on the left. The settings page is quite ominous, it's got lots of tabs, but I'm going to go through each of them. The general tab doesn't do anything. For image management, choose full URL. For gallery method, choose one category for now. You can change this later, but I think that's probably good enough and easy for the client to use. For descriptions, click on auto, no problem there. For gallery CSS, make sure you put the gallery width to be 600 pixels and the height to be 300. And you can fiddle with these other colours if you want to. For JavaScript options, leave it at MooTools. If that doesn't work, change it to jQuery, but it should work with MooTools. I've got the show carousel turned off and I advise that you do that as well. You can choose the transition type. I've chosen Fade Slide Left, but you could choose Fade. They're two of the best ones in that list of four. Load scripts. I've done it only do it on the home page because you don't want that gallery showing up on every single page on the site. And the tools section you can just leave at the default. And that should be it. If you could set up the Dynamic Content Gallery plugin that way, that would be great.